You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, I put up a video on Gwen Berry the other day and I said I knew I saw a picture of her being draped in a flag. And now, folks, Gwen Berry is a busted fraud. She's busted. The jig is up. Gwen Berry is a flag loving American patriot because we have the evidence to prove it now. I knew I saw the picture. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew that I wasn't, folks. But it's clear as day. Gwen Berry's agenda. It wasn't about social justice. She wanted to cash in because woke capitalism pays. It pays a lot of money, folks. Look at Colin Kaepernick, professional victim, getting paid a bunch of money from Nike and Walt Disney. We've talked about that, folks. And now Gwen Berry has been exposed as a flag loving American patriot, folks. You cannot make this up, folks. You cannot. Check this out, guys. Old Gwen Berry photo of her holding American flag goes viral amid anthem uproar. Berry on Tuesday said that she all she w- has been trying to do was stand up for, quote, her people. This is all a lie, folks. This is wokeness run amok. An old photo of Gwen Berry, the Olympian hammer thrower who came under the spotlight over the weekend for turning her back while the national anthem sounded, went viral on Wednesday. The picture dug up by Internet sleuths show show Barry joyously holding the American flag as she kept her dream to represent the U.S. at the 2016 Rio Olympics Alive. The photo appears on Barry's old personal website touting her accomplishments. And there we go, guys. That is Gwen Barry right there in all of the flesh. Can I even make it bigger? Because this this deserves to be a much bigger picture here. It does. Yeah. Look at that. Gwen Berry, a person that says that the national anthem and the flag don't represent black people. But man, she sh- sure does seem to be very proud to be an American right there. This is all about cashing in, folks. This is a fraud. This is a fraud. And she's busted here. Blue check marks. And you know what, folks? The Internet is one of the greatest creations man has ever made because the Internet is undefeated. It has not lost a battle. It never has lost a battle, folks. You know, we even put up videos about LeBron James. LeBron James and all this wokeness talking about how bad the police is and that the police are hunting down black people. He was actually busted because the Internet is undefeated. They dug up him getting a police escort to a concert when he was with the Miami Heat. And he was shouting them out. But now to hate on the police is big money, big business. Because the corporations out there are super duper woke. They will pay an athlete. They will endorse an athlete. I mean, Gwen Berry has already got a um, a new sponsorship and a deal with Puma because of the wokeness. She's going to cash in, folks. Nobody knew who Gwen Berry was a week ago. Nobody knew. If you actually said that you knew, you're lying, you know, unless you're a diehard hammer thrower fan. Bust it. This is what she, this is her agenda, folks. She is exposed. She's now exposed as a fraud. She's fraudulent, man. Look here. Looks like the American flag didn't offend Gwen Berry a few years ago. And this is a better picture right here. A better picture. Gwen Berry proud to fly that U.S. flag. Let's keep going. This image is directly from Gwen Berry's website. It looks like her entire activist athlete bit is an act. Yes, it is all an act to get some kind of a deal because she will cash in, folks. You will know Gwen Berry the way you know Colin Kaepernick. You know, being a victim, it pays. It definitely does pay. But she says this flag doesn't represent black people. Well, speak for yourself. The flag definitely does represent me. And obviously it represents you. These hypocrites, man, these these woke athletes are such hypocrites. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. Totally not an act. She was definitely not protesting to get attention for herself. 
and or maybe some of those woke Nike sponsorship dollars. 100% legit and not at all a cottage um, yeah, cottage uh, industry victimization scheme we, we see so much these days. Yeah. Cashing in. Gwen Berry is cashing in. She is an American patriot. Behind the scenes, you know, she's going to get paid, you know, because the American system, it works so well. You, this is the only country, folks, where you can be a professional victim and cash in. This is the only country I can think of where you can actually be a white guy and say to your black and you're going to make all this money, a.k.a. Talcum Metz. Sean King, you know who he is. Th- this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing, folks, that this has now come out. Gwen Berry, the American patriot. You know, I wonder what the the wokey woke people out there have to say now, because she has now been exposed. She loves America, but she just loves money, probably a little bit more than she actually does love America, because this can only happen in America. What did Don King say? Only in America. And he was right on the money. You can be a professional victim and cash in. And trust me, folks, probably in the next few weeks, you're going to see some type of a um, corporation, maybe Nike. They're going to sign her, sign her to some type of an endorsement deal. Trust and believe, folks, it will happen. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.